Hey everybody, Logan here. And, and give me a minute before you give this video an automatic thumbs down without even watching it. I, I'm gonna give you some some pretty good reasons why the OLED just really isn't worth it. But with that being said, before we get into the video, I'm gonna say it is a great console. I love mine, but I'm gonna give you plenty of reasons why it just isn't worth it. And if you don't have one, don't fret. So, without any further ado, let's just get into it. Welcome to Rip and Data Gaming, the channel where Logan will show you everything. From gameplay to gear, their crew is here to take you on a journey through every atmosphere. Releases to news, you don't have to choose. Rip and Data Gaming. The Switch OLED, it's been out a few weeks now, depending on when you're watching this. Just uh, give or take, let's say, almost three. Now, if you're one of those people that already has a Switch, and you mainly play it on the TV, there's your first reason. It really isn't worth upgrading. Yeah, the dock has um, Ethernet port. Plug right in. Good to go. Ooh, when you get your updates, maybe that'll be something in the future. But as of right now, it isn't. So if you want a hardwired connection, that's that's all it really is good for until you can find it separately. Okay, worth the 350? No. I'm gonna show you. This is my Switch OLED. Whoa, look at the gloss. And yes, that, that's the TV in the background. So I'm trying not to, but you can see the reflection on everything. It's great. Now this, is my standard day one switch. This is the one I've had forever. And it's, yeah, it is a much smaller screen compared to about a, just about an inch smaller, right? Okay. So with that being said, it looks better. Yeah. But there's a million accessories out there, cases, grips, you name it, that don't fit this all because of the millimeter and a half or two millimeter difference, whatever it is. And it becomes a serious pain in the butt. I've been trying to find cases, grips, you name it. They just don't fit. Or Amazon sold out of them. I bought one. It was terrible. It, I'm not even going to bother showing it to you guys because they, one, they sent me the wrong color and I'm going to send it back. But my wife has an OLED and she's like, oh, I'll just keep it on mine. I'm like, I don't like it. It was terrible. It, it cost me like eight dollars after a discount that they had those little coupons it, it's just trying to find a case to fit this a grip just has been a pain in the butt this one i've got a million of them i've got some great ones mamba makes some great ones mamba make, makes one for this that it's just impossible to get so there's one big reason if if you're looking at spending the 50 dollars difference know that finding a case for this one is going to be like pulling teeth it's tough now, if you're a portable person, it's great. But honestly, $200 gets you one of these. Oh yeah, those are my, my thumb caps. I like thumb caps on these. $200 will get you a switch light. And what? It's a lot. Easily portable. Er, ish. Portable or ish. You can take it with you much easier than you can this sucker. So look at that, look at that. Look at the size comparison. Okay, 350, 200, portable only. So yes, it's got no kickstand, no nothing like that, but you can get cases that have that if you still wanna use your controllers, you can. No, you can't play all the games because some of them require the Joy-Cons. But honestly, this, if you're a Switch person or you're looking at getting a new Switch, and say you're an Xbox or a PlayStation fan as well, and you're looking at maybe finally replacing that 3DS, this, th th this is the one to go with. So the Switch Lite is honestly the one I recommend to everybody because at 200 bucks you get all these fantastic games. Um, it's just as powerful as a standard Switch. There's been no issues um, in terms of hardware or anything cases for this are very easy to find this is a standard case i use 
yeah, I'm looking at getting something that matches this, but this is the one I had on my gray one. I did the offset of the teal and the gray, and you can get these. This is my Mumba one, fits right in, boom. Even that still doesn't make it that big. So you can take it off, you can get these gel skins or just something like that, and it's still so much easier to take with you. Yeah, the OLED gives you that brighter screen with the blacker blacks and more vibrant colors. That's cool, but if you've already got one, it's not worth it. If you're more portable and you want something that's easier to take with you, it's great, but the Switch Lite is just, it's just better in those in that portability. It depends on what you want. Now, if you want to do a hybrid of the two and you don't have a regular Switch, if you want the Switch for all of its Switchy goodness, then go with the OLED. If you can find one, don't pay. Do not pay those scalper prices at all. Don't, don't do that. Don't. Do not. I'm telling you now, don't. It's not worth it. Now, if you get it in a bundle, if you don't have a Switch and you get it in a bundle, comes with a headset, comes with a game, a, a Switch online card, something like that, go ahead, do it, do it, do it, do it. Then it's worth it. Okay, for you, it's cool, yeah. But if you're looking at an upgrade, it's not a substantial upgrade. The only thing I think is a really substantial upgrade, that. That kickstand right there, that compared to that. And yeah, that's a skin on the back of mine. I'm all Legend of Zelda out on my original. So I do have the red one. The red one, and you're, you're probably thinking, why do you have three switches? What's the purpose? I had the red one. That was the one I dedicated solely to Animal Crossing. And I played that. And this is the one that I use for all the games that I buy to record video for the channel. This one usually stays in my office, but this one has a 512 uh, meg, um, gigabyte memory card and this stores everything, whether it's um, digital installed DLC, this is the workhorse. That usually stays in my office. This has now become the one that I play Animal Crossing on. This is the one I take with me if I don't plan on playing Animal Crossing. I got my Pokemon on here, and this is what I play a lot of my games on, uh, for the most part, because it's just so much easier to take with me, and lately I've been doing a little more traveling than I have over the last year and some change. Um, going up and down the road, it's it's it just makes sense. So, 200, 250, 350. You do what's best for you in terms of money, in terms of uh, usability, in terms of basically what you think will be best for you. But I'm telling you right now, the Switch OLED is great. If you don't already have a Switch, it's definitely worth picking up if you can get one. But if you already own one, I don't know, you're probably going to see a number of other videos from the big guys or whatnot that say, oh, it's great. Oh, like, I, I know a number of the, the big channels who've already got multiple Switch OLEDs. Yeah, I have one and my wife has one. That's about it. But I'm not going to buy two, three. I'm not going to go out and find the white one. I'm not going to get another one for just to get another skin. or something. I'm not going to do that. It just really isn't worth it spending uh, 300 now I am a sucker for buying the switch lights because they're so cheap in terms of consoles and whatnot that I do like to get the uh, multiple ones I think you can even see my whoops my gray one right there that was my classic one that I uh, had before using the, the blue one I really wanted the blue one and um, yeah so it's really up to you guys but there's my opinion there's why I don't think the switch OLED is worth it completely there's more reasons why it isn't than reasons why it is. Now, if it had a better GPU, if it had a better processor, if it had some technical upgrades, if it was like a Switch Pro, Switch X, Switch Plus, Switch XL, Switch New, Switch, whatever you want to call it. If it was that, if it was the next upgrade in the, the Switch line, then yeah, definitely. But as of right now, I can't. Don't overpay. Don't pay those scalping prices. If you get it a good deal, if you get it 350, you know, and if you really, 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 really want it, which I did, 
Um, that's all I can say. So, thank you for uh, sticking around. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for subscribing, because you subscribed already, right? If you're not already subscribed, right? right? Okay. <laughs> thank you guys so much. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share this video. If you liked it, even if you didn't, we put, put a different perspective out there. It never hurts. Head on over to redbandanagaming.com. Check us out over there. Follow us on our socials. Make sure you head to our spring shop. A link in the description below where you can get all kinds of great Red Bandana Gaming merch just like this awesome shirt here. This is a Red Bandana Gaming for life. You can pick that up there in red. And if you want, I'll put some white ones up there. This one, this one is one from our older shop. But thank you guys so much. If you haven't already, again, hit that subscribe button. It really helps us out. Like we always say, be legendary. Thanks again.